Hi, I'm Steve Hill. I'm here to show you how to do an oil change as part of a 5,000 mile service uh, on my Harley Fat Bob uh, 2009 model. Uh, now, to be able to perform this, you don't have to have any special skills. I certainly don't have those myself, apart from just general understanding of motorcycle maintenance. Uh, but one thing you will need is to be able to get hold of a workshop manual. Now, you can download those at very good prices or go along to your Harley dealer and get hold of a copy for yourself and make sure you've got that. One thing that it does give you, I've got a, a copy of it here, is the maintenance schedule for each service, which is very useful. And as we're going to look at that service, we're particularly looking at today, uh, the oil change and oil filter change. And what's needed for that, as you can see, it's literally one page of A4 to go through it uh, with a little detail on another page. So it's fairly simple and straightforward. And let's see how we can get on with that how I'm able to perform it, which means that if I can do it, you can do it as well. Right, so we're going to think about our oil change now, and one thing you need is going to be some oil. I've got here the genuine Harley-Davidson 2050 oil. Uh, you need here, I've got three litres, you need about 2.4 for a wet change on a diner, but you need to check how much you're going to need uh, with the workshop manual. Uh, the other thing that you're going to need, of course, is a new oil filter. Uh, here I've got the Harley-Davidson one. I've got it in black because my bike is in denim black. Uh, the current one on there is in chrome. Uh, you can get those, you can even get other uh, makes as well. One other thing you're going to use is an oil filter removal tool. This is actually the Harley-Davidson one, which isn't badly priced. You will get more standard ones, uh, more basic ones uh, that will do the job for you a lot cheaper at your local uh, auto supply company. Uh, but this one is from Harley-Davidson, wasn't too expensive. And we'll see how vital that is for taking the oil filter off the bike. You won't need it for putting it back on. Right, after bringing the motorcycle up to normal running temperature, you need to, and it can be a bit warm, take the oil filler cap and the dipstick out. You need to identify the oil drain plug, which can be difficult. The picture in the manual isn't always clear, but we can see it here. It's this one here that's side on. We've got a couple of other plugs, but it's that one there that's side on at the bottom of the sump. So make sure you identify the right one. Of course, the oil's gonna be hot, so be careful as you take that plug out to let the oil drain. Now, there's a little rubber shoe here that can pull off. Remember to put it back on the frame. Just takes a stand, but it can get in the way. Uh, so it's worth taking that off. And then using a socket, undo the plug. Don't forget the oil is going to be hot. And there we see the oil flowing. A socket I use with a 5 8 socket to remove that plug and we can see the oil dripping. Next thing we have to look at is the oil filter. Here we see the, the oil filter. Now with a diner like this with forward controls, uh, to get enough clearance ideally you're going to have to undo the linkages uh, for the gear here so I'm going to do that next. So we've moved the forward control linkage there. Uh, now I have my oil filter tool, removal tool. That fits onto the filter. As you can see, if I turn it with my hand, it turns it there like lifting or turning, twisting a jar lid. Uh, one little tip, because some oil should come out from that filter to stop it pouring all over the engine, is to try to get a piece of cardboard maybe, just to funnel that away from underneath the engine part so it just you just don't get oil everywhere. So with the ratchet in place we turn the filter <coughs> now this is uh, not going as easy as it should do I think it's partly because this tool uh, which is different to what they show in the workshop manual, but is, as you'll see from the Harley-Davidson badge on there, is for removal of oil filters, um, is not the best because it, as soon as you turn it, it jams into the frame. And I had a fair bit of fiddling to get the tool in and get it turning. We've got it to a hand turning job now. 
out it comes. There's an old oil filter. So this uh, special tool from the dealers was not the ideal tool. Look at the picture in the manual. That would make more sense because what happens as you go to turn this, that jams between the oil filter and the frame. Although this is a Harley Davidson, genuine Harley Davidson part, I would consider looking around maybe for something else and I will actually do that myself and uh, see what they say and I'll check with the dealers as well. So we've got the new oil filter to go on, a black one in this case. It is the uh, Harley Davidson official filter. Uh, some people suggest you put oil into this, which you can do, but certainly around the edge here, around this O-ring, uh, lubricate that with oil as well. Hand tighten. That's tight now. And that's the oil filter back on. And here we have the, the oil drain plug to go back into here. Uh, a couple of things to bear in mind. This little bit at the top is actually magnetic. Uh, it will draw together metal filings and whatever. I've cleaned most of that off, but again, give it a wipe. Make sure there's no foreign substances on it and the, the general plug is clean. Um, one important thing is to check that O-ring uh, down here, so that there's no tears or any other damage to it. If it is, you'll need to replace it uh, because obviously you're going to get an oil leak. Uh, and now we put the plug back in. One thing I need to remember is to put the little rubber foot back on for the jiffy stand. Now, until I put it up on the stand, I can't be certain I've put it in the right place. I'll have to check that, but it is back on the frame. And now with uh, a diner, a uh, wet fill like this requires 2.4 litres, uh, which as I showed earlier, I've got here now. So let's start filling it up. I'm going to put the dipstick back in and we can even obviously check, do a cold level check on this. You can see this clear oil, but yeah, not showing it as full. So that's fine. Bring that back in, check we've got no drips. And that's the oil concern, next thing, starting it up and checking everything's okay.